Hello everybody. So today I have a video for an issue I encountered uh, after doing some hardware changes on my system. I replaced the motherboard and CPU, uh, did an upgrade. And after doing so, I had an issue during games or just under heavy usage on my computer where both of my monitors would go black for a second. Any audio playing would continue to play in the background. Certain applications would just return once the screens return but games would pretty much crash to desktop. And this would happen within like 10 to 40 minutes of gaming, depending on the game. Certain games, like older games I've been playing, ran fine without issue, where newer ones like Cyberpunk crash pretty much in 10 minutes. And that was something that wasn't happening pre-upgrade. I didn't have any issues with this graphics card for the last year or so. So it just seemed really bizarre and random. Now, there's tons of videos for this issue online, and specifically if you find this issue in your system event logs where it's showing NVLDDMKM issue, basically the driver can't be found or is corrupted. I've tried reinstalling several times. I'll go over some of the other things you can do after I have go over what I discovered the issue to be on my system. But... You'll see this as well, where the display driver stops responding and then successfully recovers. Now, what I had done was I used the PSU calculator, and this is partly my fault. When you enter your system information, typically it will default to basically the base clock speed vCore for that CPU. Most CPUs now, even if you do not overclock them, will auto boost due to settings in the BIOS. And then the same thing with the GPU. GPUs usually boost quite a bit more depending on the one that you have uh, than their base value. So I had entered that as well and everything came up fine. It, it looked okay. So I had done the upgrade, wasn't expecting the power supply to be an issue. But what, you'll, what you should do if you have this issue is install something like Hardware Info Monitor. And then what we'll be using is the maximum value col column here to change the CPU speed, vCore, and then same thing with the GPU. Now, the problem with this is that this isn't necessarily, you might not have had both the CPU and the GPU using their 100% usage at the time of the crash. It Most likely, yes, that's what happened. But... Um, this is a good way to check either way, whether at 100% system load, if your power supply is providing enough power. So after you've observed the crash and you have this running in the background, come over to the power supply calculator. I'll have links to this stuff in the description of the video. Enter your CPU and then you'll want to enter the CPU speed. So I had around 5.1 gigahertz. And then the vCore is right above here. So as you can see, 1.25 is the maximum it's pulled. Enter your RAM. You can leave this uh, as the default. You can also set it to 100% because that'll even tell you further. If you're doing stuff like video editing or just really intense games, then you could probably set this. I actually haven't seen my CPU hit 100% yet, but that's mostly because there's probably so much so many cores and threads for it to use. Uh, the storage, enter your storage. That's pretty much all default stuff you don't have to touch. Uh, for the video card, it, it'll show that down here. And the only thing you're gonna have to change is the core clock, unless you've done overclocking. If you have, I'd recommend disabling it for now if you're having this issue. The core clock will be the GPU clock, I think it says in here. Why am I not seeing this? Oh, we're, we scrolled too far. Okay, so GPU clock. I had around 1980. It's closest I could get it without hopping around too much. And then, obviously, if you've got USB stuff, right now I've unplugged everything except for my mouse keyboard and then my headset's little wireless dongle. I've got seven 140 millimeter fans. If you have things like... Uh, LED strips, enter that. If you're having this issue, I'd recommend unplugging them. Same with fan controllers if you can get away with it. Most motherboards have enough fan connectors now that you probably don't need a fan controller anyways. Uh, I'm using an air cooler right now. 
And then if you come down here, you can also set, I leave my computer on 24 seven. And then this isn't gonna change it too much. Uh, maybe I haven't checked game on 24 seven, but I'm just gonna say four hours and then click calculate. So right now this is saying I need a 768 watt power supply. I actually only have a 750 watt power supply. So far the system's been running stable uh, without issues, but to get around it, I have gone into the BIOS on my motherboard and disabled uh, any boosting that I could. Originally my CPU is trying to, to boost at one point or yeah 1.53 gigahertz and then it was trying to pull like 1.5 volt i think i set the bios v core manually to 1.25 which is probably why it will only hit that here um basically my cpu seems to be running at around 3.8 to 4.9 gigahertz mostly and uh, i haven't had this issue with the monitors happen in nearly two days i actually left cyberpunk running for like eight hours yesterday without the issue happening. So I think I fixed it. Uh, basically, if you've got a powerful CPU and a powerful GPU, I do not think 750 watts will get you very much anymore. So I will be upgrading my power supply so I can return my boosting to whatever I can utilize to get the full benefit of the hardware I have. Now. Some other things that I'd recommend checking because Windows probably has set these things for you in a very stupid way is the power settings. So you'll want to enter power plan in the search bar, change advanced power settings, and then set high performance, which should disable this PCI Express link state power man management thing to off. If it's not, make sure you set it to off. The next thing we'll go to is you'll type in settings, system, display, graphics settings. Turn on this hardware accelerated GPU scheduling to reduce latency and improve performance. You'll have to reboot your computer. I already have this enabled, so I don't have to. Open your GeForce control panel. In the 3D settings, manage 3D settings, come down to where it shows power management. It could be on optimal power, set it to prefer maximum performance. I believe those were the three main things uh, that I saw when I was looking into other videos, but basically for me, it was the power supply. I even tried things like booting into safe mode and using the DDU and uninstaller to completely remove the driver with my Nix disabled and then reinstall with a downloaded driver I'd got from GeForce. Nothing, basically none of the other recommendations that you'll find online worked for me in this situation. The power supply seems to be the culprit. So, I hope this video is helpful for you because it was certainly frustrating for me trying to troubleshoot this. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.